how does reincarnation work from a Buddhist perspective? This is the Wheel of Life and it describes the process. The wheel is driven by karma and disturbing emotions represented by the monster holding the wheel. The outer ring describes the twelve links of dependent arising. The six sections represent the six realms of existence. Anger, ignorance, and attachment are represented in the center. Above the monster is the Buddha pointing to the moon. This indicates that liberation is possible. The outer section describes our habitual habit patterns, ignorance, karmic formation, consciousness. Some more information about the link of ignorance. When speaking of the twelve links, terminology is used in a specific way. For example, the link of ignorance refers to specific instances of ignorance, not all ignorance. The links of formative karma and consciousness refer to specific instances of these, not all karma or all consciousnesses. The first link is ignorance. It is said that the root of samsara is beginningless. Although ignorance and cyclic existence are beginningless, in the evolution of a particular lifetime, ignorance is its initial cause. Ignorance, karmic formations, consciousness, name and form, six sources, contact. From ignorance and karmic formations come consciousness, causal and result. This book is an amazing resource, I'll read from it now. Formative actions, karmic formations, are either virtuous or non-virtuous. Neutral mental states do not have the force to produce a rebirth because they lack clear intention. The completion of the action produces a karmic seed that has the potency to bring a rebirth. This karmic seed is placed on the third link, causal consciousness. When nurtured by the eighth and ninth links, craving and clinging, the karmic seed will blossom into the tenth link, renewed existence, which in turn gives rise to the next birth. Both the seed and the resultant aggregates are ethically neutral. Second link, formative action, our mental intentions and physical and verbal actions, is the direct cause of a future rebirth. Prasangikas identify a subtler ignorance as the root of samsara, the ignorance that grasps persons and phenomena to exist inherently. The view of a personal identity that grasps the I and mine is preceded by and dependent on the ignorance grasping the aggregates as inherently existent. The Abhidharma Kosha, or the treasury of knowledge, speaks of two motivations for an action. The causal or initial motivation is the first motivation to act. It may occur a long time before the action is done. The immediate motivation occurs at the time of the action. The causal consciousness is the moment of consciousness on which the karmic seed created by a formative action is placed. The resultant consciousness is the first brief moment of mental consciousness at the beginning of a new life. Primary mental consciousness carries the seeds. We've already looked at links one through six. Then we have feeling, craving, grasping, becoming potential existence, birth, aging and death. More on this topic found here. Because of one, two, and three, we get four, five, six, and seven. There are a few opportunities to break the chain, notably between feeling and craving. We might feel pleasant, unpleasant, or neutral. Then we crave more, less, or a sustained experience. If we remember the gap between these two, there is a chance for choice. Blow up the wheel.